Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a little unboxing for you today. This is the Gathered Kit from A House of Books. This is a monthly or quarterly subscription service that they offer in addition to all of the vintage paper goods that they sell, um, books and ephemera and all kinds of things, um, even vintage fabrics and that kind of stuff. If you are into junk journaling or vintage items, um, definitely check out their website. This is, like I said, the Gathered Kit. I have the neutrals colorway, but there is a colors version where um, each month they'll send you a curated package um, that where so everything inside coordinates and it's all kind of based around a theme or a color. And um, but again, I have chosen the neutrals and it comes in this hand sewn bag. So I will probably take this apart and use this as a journal cover at some point and take this closure off of here. Um, I've already been into my kit this month, so um, everything is a little bit out of order. So I'm just going to kind of pull everything out and we'll go through um, this. If you've seen my unboxings before, um, you know these are just full of vintage goodies. And so I'm just going to try and pull everything out and set it off to the side. Again, this is a subscription service that you can sign up for monthly or quarterly. This is going to be the last... Um, unboxing that I do as an ambassador for Amber. Uh, January is going to be the last month of um, my being an ambassador for House of Books. And so, um, but I did want to share this January kit with you. So let me just set everything off to the side. I'm trying to keep myself as organized as possible. So um, you always get with these kits, you get paper, you get um, like lace and trims and a bunch of different things. So we'll start with some of the smaller things. So here is um, some lace and it's on this really cute old clothespin. Mine kind of fell off there for a second there, um, but you can kind of see that. And then there's also a little tag that has some trim on it. Um, and this has like a little sequin one. And again, these are all going to coordinate with that um, neutral colorway. So um, there are three different types of trim on here. And then there's a little bag of like some fibers, it looks like. And another little bag. I'm not going to open this up um, just because I don't want to lose all the pieces on my very messy desk. But there are some like vintage buttons in here. There's uh, looks like a wax seal that they made. There are some book corners. And then there's a couple playing cards in here as well. And then it looks like something that's been stamped that says handmade by. And of course you can, you know, reuse these pieces, like even this little canvas that's stamped with the word create on it. So um, there's just a little bag of um, goodies there to use in your journals. There's also a little bag of some fabric scraps. So there's kind of this lace one, and these are gonna vary from kit to kit and from you know person to person a little bit. And of course, if you you know get the color version, then everything is gonna coordinate with whatever color for that kit. Um, so mine being neutral, you can see the patterns. I really like this one as well of um, these fabrics. So I set those off to the side. There's also a little bag that has a couple of uh, book spines in it. And uh, these are great for texture and stuff in your journal or if you like to make clusters or um, kind of just adding a lot of like tactile um, pieces in your ephemera for your junk journals. I, the book spines are always one of my favorite things um, that we get. And then um, so with the gather kit, most of the kit is... Um, is vintage items, but a certain percentage of it, 20, 25% is um, like newer items that are specifically curated to kind of match the kit or they are reproductions of items that they have found in the shop and decided to duplicate. So um, this first thing I wanna show you is just a little uh, library card. I actually really like this style. I haven't seen this one before um, and it's adhesive on the back there. Um, so you can certainly, you know, coffee dye this or um, use a distress stain or whatever you want to do to kind of make that look a little bit more vintage. And then these are some cuttings from looks like some papers that just have kind of big words. So you can use this for typography, I guess. Um, so there are some of those and those are just kind of tucked in there. And this month in my gathered kit, I got a um, an old 
pattern. And these are great, especially if you like to do art journaling or um, junk journaling a lot with like layers. These just because they melt into your page, this looks like it's been a, a used pattern. So it's got some like of that old kind of yellowed scotch tape on there, which is fun. Um, so these pieces obviously have already been cut, but you can, um, if you use like matte gel medium or collage medium or whatever, these will just melt right into the edge um, of your page. And they also make a really great texture for a journaling cover. Um, maybe I'll do that with this and kind of show you. Um, you. You can get kind of a leather feel with these. So that's a lot of fun. Let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. Um, but anyway, I got a, um, a pattern this month. And then these are just some end papers, it looks like, but I really, like that these are completely blank. There's several pages of this because now I can just start with this and do some stamping on here. And then I have like vintage looking um, ephemera, you know, just using this. And this is um, thin, but it's it doesn't feel, feel really brittle. So I feel like this is gonna get, um, is do really well with um, being stamped on. Um, and then a few other items. These are also not necessarily uh, um, vintage items. Here are some envelopes that you can, of course, use. You can make a journal out of or whatever. So there's just a few different sizes of these envelopes. And then this one, which has been coffee dyed um, or, or tea stained. I'm not sure which they use. But, um, and so you can use that as like a signature with a pocket or um, however you want to do that. But there's a variety of envelopes. <coughs> so sorry um then there is just this page from the front of a book there's also some music paper this it looks like it's from a hymnal um and then before I get into all of the papers I want to open this envelope because this is always one of my most favorite parts of the kit is all of these vintage items. And so, um, and, and save your envelopes because these are great to use in your journals. I actually have made a, um, a journal out of one of these envelopes just recently. But um, there are some vintage postcards in here. This one is from 1910, and that's Denver, Colorado. That's awesome, because I used to live in Denver. Um, and this one is, it looks like 1929. I just love the ones with all with the handwriting on them. These um, are this is Happy New Year, Happy New Year, and then there's a couple of old photographs as well. This month have a napkin, obviously um, not vintage item, but um, fun to use in your journaling. And then there is this little um, like stacked pocket ephemera piece that's been um, embossed. It looks like. So this is a fun, would make a little fun addition to a pocket or a journaling page. And then this is like a, um, a photo transfer that I think that Amber did this with like, um, matte medium, or I think she did it on her, on the, on her channel. I think on Instagram, you can see how she did this. So there's an example of that. And then there's another handmade item here that looks like it's been, um, coffee or tea dyed. Uh, it's got a little Velcro pocket and then it had this little clip on there. So, um, that was in there as well. Let me just put that back together. And then there is this old letter. This is 1928. Uh, I haven't actually looked at this. I just, I always love when it, there are the letters with the writing. Um, this says 1922 on it. Um, but the postage stamp says 1928. So I'm not sure. Um, but the paper is great too. So and then you just, you know, they're beautiful handwriting and everything. So, so much fun. I always love these. And then, of course, the, the postage stamps are always fun to save as well. So, I love the little letter in there. And then there are some Canada Southern Railway Company. These look like they're from the late 1800s. They're not filled out. Um, but those are in there. And then this... I'm trying to figure out if there's a date for this. It looks like an ad of some kind, but um, also like a postcard. So Hoyt's German Cologne. This is really funny. I was just trying to see again if I could find a, a date on here for this, but I don't see anything. 
but that's fun. Trial size is 25 cents, so that kind of gives you an idea of how old that is. Um, and then this is from the oil company as well, um, like an invoice number. This would be fun for, this tissue will be fun like as a background on something. I can't see any kind of date or anything on there, but that is everything that comes in this little envelope here. Just some extra vintage goodies. I'm going to toss these back in here so they don't get lost. Like I said, I'm dealing with kind of a mess on my desk, so I'm trying to keep everything organized. And then these papers are kind of out of order. They did, they do come much neatly, much more neatly packed. I had just, like I said, I had pulled everything out earlier to look at it. So there are some books, um, some pages from some like, um, art looks like, um, books. This one, yeah, old master and modern and contemporary prints. And so there's another one. And, you know, even if you don't want to necessarily use the images that are on here for anything, all of this white space is useful, uh, especially if you want to do like stamping and that kind of stuff on there. And then here's another um, image that looks like it's been cut from a book. And then you have this, but of course there's all this space too. And there's like a patina on here that's good that you can kind of take advantage of if you want that as well. So there's a couple pages of that. And then some more images that have been trimmed out, it looks like, from some various books and magazine or books. Um, these are some like Norman Rockwell um, prints. These are some advertisements, it looks like, or maybe just um, kind of showing some vintage items. Uh, English setting from 1780, that's what that picture is. And then so you have these kind of... Um, beautiful furniture pieces in here. I'm not sure if that was like a magazine or whatever. I've used these pages before in a journal and um, the paper on this, it has a really great texture to it. It's hard to explain, but I really love these and the size of it is really good, especially if you fold it in half. So um, these will definitely make their way into one of my journals, I'm sure. This one has some copper plate like pieces. These would be great. You could just, you know, trim these out for focal points or just to use um, on a like on a tag or on a pocket or something like that then there are this looks like I was going to say dictionary pages but it's um, British books in print so it looks like an index of some sort and then we have some more photographs this is from must be a very old um, National Geographic magazine because the pages yeah don't look like that the newer ones obviously um then there's just some book pages in here i love this map on this page there are some advertisements here and i love all the different typography on some of these pages which is just fun fun to look at so i'm just trying to give you this is architecture and then an advertisement just a lot of fun then there's this page, it's just from um, a book, but I do like the different sizes and the different like ages and patinas that are on here. This one has more of like a typeset fonts um, on it. And there's like some items down here. It's uh, aircraft fabric work and finishing is what, so there's like some diagrams and stuff on here, which is pretty cool. But I really like the, the typewritten font on that one. Um, and then there are some colored, well, this one is color in color. Um, it's like Georgia O'Keeffe. So some various art prints in here. And then a little straight talk. This is funny. <laughs> okay, some housework information if you need that. The primer of housework and how to clean metal. <laughs> some of these are so funny. And what to do when you're serving seafood. This is this is so funny. There's also like some little recipes in here. That's pretty cool. Um, this looks like a magazine or from a book or something of, of um, like old movie type things. A couple of those. Then these are from an old, old book. And I can tell, you can kind of tell when you're feeling them 
whether or not um, they're going to be, if they're kind of brittle or not. So you can kind of see, you have to want to be a little bit more careful with some of these. Um, this would not make a good signature or something like that because if you fold it, it's just going to crumble. But you can certainly use um, like some uh, Mod Podge. Personally, don't use a lot of Mod Podge, um, but you could use collage medium or matte gel medium, something like that, and kind of seal it, and that, that will give it some more integrity so it's not kind of crumbling on you. Um, I don't I don't really care for Mod Podge, so I don't really use it. Um, I find it can stay sticky, and I just, I don't really like that. That's a side note. Anyway, um, here are some, looks like some information from a uh, book of coins, and then some more advertisement. Looks like this is from a Sears and Roebuck catalog. Then we have a couple of index pages here, charts and graphs, which are always fun. They make good backgrounds in um, um, on background pages in journaling and that kind of thing, especially if you're doing, you know, you want a background that's not going to kind of be overpowering for um, art journals or even just creating ephemera. Um, and then some book pages here. And then this one is in a foreign language, which I always love because um, you you can use it in so many different ways and you're not your mind isn't trying to decipher it so it just makes a good background and just the different fonts and stuff are always fun and then here is uh, some dictionary pages just a few of those this time and then some vintage map pages i love maps i love maps a lot and i really like these because of the coloring of them so we have like half connecticut and arkansas half of arkansas California. Love, love the maps. Love the map pages. And I really love the coloring on those pages. Looks like here are some pages of poetry, some index pages. These are from an old um, recipe book, it looks like. This is copyright 1965. So this is a um, just a like title page of a book. There's actually a few of these in here. Um, that one's 1952, that one is 1942. And then there are some bigger pages. These are um, folded, but it's Country Life in America, June 1907. So you have some um, like botanical, or not botanical, you have some like, there's a uh, sea star, some different things. I was gonna say nautical, not botanical. <laughs> um, 11 vacations that really satisfied this is fun. I like this one too because this one has some like old prices on it. I always like whenever there's um, these book pages and stuff that have some of these old prices because you can get five pounds of butter for a dollar. So, I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's just fun to look back on, on some of these things. So, again, this is from Country Life in America. Set that to the side. And then this one... I love this as the architecture. I like these two, four backgrounds. Um, and then there's some just book text on that side. And then some more music paper, which is always one of my favorite things. If you've seen these unboxings before, you know, I'm a big, big fan of music paper. And then another, a train, which I, I'm sure I have mentioned this before. Um, whenever I get something that has a train in it, I just love it because my dad retired from the railroad. So, uh, we're big railroader family. And I love this one with this kind of interesting border on here from a magazine. It's just got some ads on here again um, with some just fun fonts and different things. And then these pages are actually some reproduction items that um, they do in the shop. And um, so there are a few here and then they have printed these or they've... Um, like coffee dyed the back. So if you wanted to use, like cut this out and use it in a journal, um, it is already gonna have that kind of coffee dyed look on the back. And there are some like calling cards here that are done the same way. Um, so these are some of those reproduction items that they do in the shop. And then here's some more of the, like I said, I did get these out of order just a little bit, but um, some more of those like um, Hollywood actors and actresses. And then there's another page there. And then some more reproduction. This one is um, 
Looks like some automobile advertisements is what this looks like. And then again, on the back side, it's, um, and I don't think it's actually been coffee dyed. I think it's part like a print of coffee dyed, um, but it has that look to it, if, if that makes sense. And then another one with this old car on it. And then again here. So if you do want to, you know, use this or like even with this one, if you wanted to kind of trim out some tags or whatever, you'd have that coffee dyed look on the back. And then there are a couple of just like scrapbooking paper, um, which I don't think these are, but because these have just a little bit of texture to them. But again, everything kind of coordinates. So you could make some tags or you could make some ephemera or you could, you know, put them in a journal or whatever. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share this unboxing with you of all of these vintage items. Again, this is called the Gathered Kit from a House of Books. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.